given the resources we have, we can't do everything that Congress has asked us to do. What we can do is then carve out the DREAM Act uh, folks saying young people who have basically grown up here are uh, Americans that we should welcome. Uh, we're not going to uh, have them operate under a cloud, under a shadow. Uh, but if we start broadening that, then essentially I would be ignoring uh, the law uh, in a way that uh, I think would be very difficult to defend legally. So that's not an option. Okay, welcome to Give Me Five, folks. That, that now famous uh, clip should be used in any court case. Texas is bringing a court case against Obama. The Republicans have launched their court case. It, it revolves around Obamacare, though. Uh, there's the president just a year ago saying he couldn't do what he did last night because it's against the law and you couldn't defend it legally. <laughs> but he did it. Uh, I guess the law has changed or something's changed. Anyway, uh, so what do others feel about that? Well, let's go to one uh, Valerie Jarrett, uh, ladies and gentlemen, who some say runs the show anyway. Here's what she said. He was absolutely right then. He doesn't have the legal authority to do, for example, everything that's in the Senate bill. The president believes that we should provide a path to citizenship to people who are prepared to pay back taxes, get right with the law, learn English. That's what was in the Senate bill. He can't do that. There are great limitations to what he might want to do that he can't do under his executive authority. Um, after last year, he went back to his Secretary of Homeland Security and Attorney General, and he said, give me some recommendations about what I can do that's well within the scope of my authority. Oh, so the Attorney General, the Director of Homeland Security, they found these little uh, legalities that he could pull off. He, as a constitutional scholar or, or, or lecturer, believed that he couldn't do it. It was against the law, against the Constitution. But Eric Holder told him it was okay. Oh, that makes it better. I see. Whew, I feel better already. Now, here's the uh, reaction from Washington Post's Ruth Marcus. Get a load of this. Iterate something that Jose Diaz Ballard said, because he's the person who interviewed the president, and everyone is playing that clip from last September, including we have all week. Well, his context is that the question to the president was about whether the families of dreamers could be included. And the president was saying, I don't have the authority to do that, which he's not planning to do. Right. I, I, I think that's a really important point because I went back for purposes of writing this column that uh, appeared in yesterday's paper, and you can find it online at WashingtonPost.com, um, <laughs> and, and decided it was a little too cheap um, to, to use those words against him. Too cheap to use his own words against him. Ah, yeah, cut the guy a break. So the guy said it was unconstitutional. I'm not a king. I can't do it. You couldn't defend it in a court. But that's, it's too cheap to use those words against him. <laughs> I got to get out of here, as they say. Uh, all right, and here is Douglas Brinkley, presidential historian. I would tell you to look at this as who President Obama is. He's a president now who's unable to get anything done with Congress, sees immigration as a national security uh, issue, and like really a Theodore Roosevelt or FDR is going to lay down this heavy marker on history right now and become, in doing so, a folk hero to Latino Americans. Wow. So it's okay uh, because it's in the context of, hey, he can't get anything done. So he could become dictator and he's going to become a folk hero now because it's a national security issue. You're darn right it's a national security issue based on what he's now done to this country. It's a constitutional crisis. It's a national security issue. I, the left just runs wild. And here's the ultimate leftist um, who really will just say anything. You know, she doesn't know John Gruber. You got to pass it before you could find out what's in it. You know, just cockamamie statements uh, throughout her career. And here's another one. Watch this. Uh, that the case has to be made to the American people or else these false claims uh, mm -hmm. fall on fertile territory. But remember, President Lincoln said public sentiment is everything. So the public has to, uh, I wish the Republicans would at least give the public a chance to listen to what the president is trying to do. And also, does the public know that the Emancipation Proclamation was an executive order? <laughs> in the context of being commander-in-chief. I don't have time to tell you how wrong she is on the Steve Malsberg Show.